Now, I've been teaching Photoshop for a few years and I've written a few books, but I did not know this. So in my last video, I showed a technique where you can brighten, colorize, and add contrast to the eyes using just one layer. Now for that technique, I showed how you first of all select the eyes using the elliptical marquee tool. In fact, this is what I showed. Now that's one eye selected. I need to select the other eye. So to add to the selection, we hold down the shift key and then using the elliptical marquee tool, I'll drag out another ellipse. The only difference now is I can't constrain it as a perfect circle because that shift key is being used to add to the selection. Actually, you can do it, and here's how. First of all, though, I want to give a shout out and thanks to Marcus Marshall for commenting and let me know about this because in all the years I've been around Photoshop, I've never heard this or seen anyone else mention it. So ordinarily then, when we're using something like the elliptical marquee tool, we press down and drag and we get the ellipse kind of going all over the place like this. But like I said in that other video, you hold down the shift key and that constrains it so that we get a perfect circle. We can then hold down the space bar to move that selection and reposition it over the eyes like so. Now, if I want to add to the selection, as is always the case in Photoshop, I have to hold down the shift key and you'll see next to my cursor now we get that little plus symbol appearing. I can now click and drag out another ellipse. However, initially you're thinking that you can't constrain it because the shift key is already being used to add to the selection. However, this is what Mark has told me. If I now temporarily release the shift key, then press down again, it then constrains the proportions of this extra selection. I can then use the space bar to move it around and position it. So now I have two perfect circles over the eyes, which is exactly what I want for this technique. In fact, I can continue now adding more selections if I want to in the form of this ellipse. So again, I hold down the shift key to get that plus icon to add to the selection. I then drag out the selection at the moment. It's not constraining the proportions, but if I temporarily release the shift key, then press down, we see it snap in and it maintains the perfect circle. But it doesn't stop there. I can also change this to say something like the rectangular marquee tool. I hold down the shift key to drag out the selection and we can see that we can get rectangles. But if I want to constrain this to be a perfect square, all I do is temporarily release that shift key, then press down. It jumps into being a constrained proportion there for a square. And there we go. So now we have a perfect square, which again, I can hold down the space bar and reposition it to where I want. I just can't believe after all these years, I never knew that. But I guess more than anything, it shows that nobody knows it all and there's always more to learn. And that is really exciting. So again, thank you, Marcus. But if this has been useful, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button because that's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But for now, that's me. I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.